Hello, hello, everybody. Yes, 2022, the new year. Yes, and we got a lot of work to do, people. Now, we know what we must do. We have already covered that. Now, we need to be proactive. Yes, what are we talking about? Meaning that we know what we need to do. We need to take steps to get it done. Now, I'm not talking about all of us. See, I don't believe in that. That's never happened. There's really about 20 to maybe 30% of the people are going in the right direction. The rest of the people will follow. Right, let me back it up. In, in America, they say anywhere from 10 to 30% of the people are moving in the right direction, we can be successful. Yes, I'll make sure we understand that. For 2022, in the African American community, especially here in Jacksonville, Florida, we need to change leadership. We already know that. We know from last year that with the majority of the problems in the African American community is self-inflicted and it is caused by African American leadership, not racism. Now, let me say briefly, racism is still a problem, but it's it's in the it's third, fourth, or fifth on the list. Depends on what list you have. In the African American community, we must get more engaged. Once again, in 2022, 20, we need to be more civic engaged. Not all of us. I want people to get to understand because we can do different things. I'm talking about the, when it comes to the African American leadership, civic leadership, because you have civic leadership and you have social leadership. When it comes to civic leadership, you don't need a whole lot of people. You need about a hundred people working together to address the issues in the community. On the north side of Jacksonville, where most African Americans live, now we live all over Jacksonville, but most African Americans live on the north, west, and east side of Jacksonville. Sorry about this, sorry about this. <laughs> I dropped them, them, uh, them eye drops. Yes, it's very important that we understand what we must do today. Now the information is always available because you can Google uh, AA with an at sign, the at sign, A-A-E-R-T-T. -T. Let me say it again, the, a sign, the at sign, <laughs> the at sign, A-A-R-T. You Google that and it'll bring up all the information you need to contact the African American Economic Recovery Think Tank in Jacksonville, Florida. Now we all over Jacksonville and the country uh, sharing information. It's very important my people understand. You learn from 2021. Let me say it again. We learn from 2021. Right? Let me say it again. We learn from 2021. So we should know. And if you don't know, reach out to me. But most of us should know what we need to do for ourselves. First of all. Number two, what we must do for our community. Number three, what we must do for our city. Yes. There's many things that we can do as African Americans in Jacksonville. Do not allow people to tell you uh, other African Americans say that uh, we're having a hard time, uh, we can't get this done, we can't get that done. That's not true, people. Yes, as I said many times, racism is a problem, but it's not stopping us from doing what we need to do. And I'm talking about business ownership, property ownership, having a decent place to live, of have a, a low crime, many things we can do in our community. 
Now, uh, we had quite a few African Americans, uh, community leaders who have stepped up, and I'm proud of them. Uh, great job. Uh, let's continue to reach out to each other. Let's continue to reach out. Don't trust what people are talking about. This person can't get along. That person can't, can't get along. That's not true. Listen to what I'm saying, people. That's not true. When somebody comes up to you tell me, this they don't get along with this person, this person. The per no, don't go with that. Now, you can put that in the back of your mind because you should be cautious of anybody until you find out uh, 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 well, find out what they're showing you. Yes, as my my Angelo say, what people show you, believe them the first time. It's very important, people. It's very important that we believe in ourselves. Let me say it again. We must believe in ourselves. We must. Embrace our mistakes. Now, think about what I just said. We must embrace our mistakes. Now, when you make a mistake, don't go to someone who can't help you. You need help from somebody who is a subject matter expert in that field who can help you. Too often in, 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 uh, uh, in the African American community, because of the miseducation, a lot of our people go to other people for information and they themselves are not knowledgeable. We keep going to the wrong people for information. And they say go to the horse's mouth. Yes. So if you want to know what's going on in the city, go to the news people. Go to the uh, city council. Reach out to them. Send them an email. Call them. Do whatever it takes. And if you're having a problem, if you're having a problem, you reach out to the African American Economic Recovery Think Tank. You reach out to Ben Fraser. You reach out to Eunice. Yes, you, you re reach out all to, all to uh, Cornell Oliver. Cornell Oliver. Yeah, he'd be downtown. Uh, you could talk to him. Uh, there's other African American, uh, uh, Maceo. Yeah, he uh, he do a great job. Uh, there's other African Americans in this city, but due to the fact that we are dealing with technology now, you can easily reach out to people. Come on, people! Now we not going back. No, we we not going forward. Sorry about it. We not going forward into 2022 doing the same thing unless it was prosperous to you first, your family, and then the community. Charity begins at home. So do what you need to do for your family. Reach out to people who are subject matter experts in your community. Get the information, share the information. Yes, yeah, uh, I'm still coming back, uh, recovering from my eye surgery, yes. It's all good though. It's good. Good to be alive. <laughs> it's good to live, be alive in 2022. 20, and everybody on here, everybody to hear this or everybody to see this, know what I'm talking about. It's good to be alive. Now, let's talk about the pandemic. Yes, we're hearing a lot of, excuse me for that, but in, in my hood, uh, some people have these uh, high power automobiles. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's very important for the pandemic that you you must get into those herbs or talk to someone who know about herbs. You must get up, walk in your neighborhood. That's a good thing when you walk around in your neighborhood, you can see what's going on. Get out, people. Stop eating all. Okay, when we talk about People do love to enjoy uh, eating their favorite food. There ain't nothing wrong with that. What? Moderation. Break it down to four different... Yeah, cut it up four different ways. Then munch on it, munch on it. You know, time go by. But don't try to eat it all at one time. Yeah, stop that. We got to stop that. 
Yeah, I don't eat ribs. Ain't nothing wrong with eating ribs or eating like that. But you got to cut back so you can run it through your system. Run it through your system. Yes. Uh, we'll be talking about that later. Uh, but when we're talking about this pandemic here, you, you know, so much kind of information, like the misinformation, you know, and then I can understand why my people don't want to trust the Caucasian. You have a history. You have 400 years of history. It says that you can't trust Caucasian. Now, there ain't nothing I come up with. You know, so don't, don't get mad with me. It's a fact. But the point is, African Americans got to take care of themselves. Ain't nobody coming to save us. Nobody. But us. So, uh, follow, do what your doctors say, but get the right proper foods at your kitchen table. Try to eat more with your family members, too. Let me, let's talk about that for a second. I need you in 2022, 20, I need you to try to at least sit down with each other as a family two or three times a week. Try to. Do the best you can. Yes, but at least once or twice during the week. You spend time with your sit down as a family and have a meal together. Right? Okay. Now, closing on the pandemic here. It's very important with the pandemic that we take care of ourselves. That's right. Got to cut back on the food. They say food is expensive anyway. Uh, get, get, get. To be honest with you, I learned, and, and, and it's proven fact, it's not more expensive to buy food, certain foods. Understand that. Yeah, it may cost you a little bit more, but if it's healthy for your body, it's good for your body, that's a plus. That's a positive. So don't let nobody feed you that stuff. And then if you're going to buy healthy food, you can buy it in buck. Or catch it special. You know, uh, three or four people get together. Yeah, and let each other know when the, when the uh, for me, uh, in my neighborhood, uh, the healthy uh, uh, foods, uh, fresh market, uh, they got Thursday. Yeah, for the specials. Let me tell my people now. <laughs> Fresh market. It's on Thursday. Yes. You can go in there and pick up a buck. Yes, and, and, and put it away. That's the way I do it. I do that with everything. Everything. It saved me money. Saved me time. Yes. And it cost me less. Okay. So, for 2022, I love African people around the world. I love my people here in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm proud of my people. I don't care what we've been through. I'm proud of my people. And we're going to have a great time in 2022. But I need you to do your part. I need you to use technology to reach out. That's right, to your elected official. Use technology, use technology to reach out to your elected officials. Understand what I'm saying? Reach out to your elected officials and let them know what your needs are, what your wants are too. That's right. And how uh, uh, you can play a part in making th things better for everybody. Because everybody can play a part. Everybody has something to offer. I don't care who you are. Everybody in this world has something to offer. That's right. If you want to, uh, the world to be a better place, well, do your part. It make a difference. Yes. Now, I'm taking some time out uh, on the first day of uh, of the new year. I am honored uh, for this opportunity to reach out to uh, my people, the African American community. And I'm proud of my people. But I need you to do your part. I need you to participate in the process. Some of us, not all of us, I'm telling you where, where you are. Now there's four things before you go, I need to say this, because you know with the African American Economic Recovery Think Tank, we have four pillars, four pillars. First one, rebuilding the family, rebuilding the family infrastructure. And what that means, because there's many parts to building the family. It's so infrastructure. 
Starting with the foundation, your belief, your self-esteem. Yes, we're going to get deeper back into that again, uh, coming soon. Number two, Afrocentric education. We know for a fact that we need Afro, Afrocentric elementary schools. Preschool, pre-K, tell the truth, I believe in grabbing them soon the Mama, spit them out. <laughs> you start educating. You educate them with that music. That's right. Let them listen to that music. Educate them with the music. Let the music work for you. Use technology. Yeah, the, yeah. To, yeah, play that music for your kids. Yeah. Classical music. Different type of music. Good music, though. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I have to say that. Uh, but there's many things we can do to help our family when it comes to education. Right. We can create schools, especially in predominantly African American community. We can create schools. The law has been changed. That's right. There's all kinds of schools that we can create. I'm talking about schools where we have a regular uh, uh, subjects that we provide to the community, where it be school over here on the east side, uh, west side, and north side. If it's in the African American community where we are the majority, we should control the schools. Whether it be uh, uh, private school, public school, charter school, private schools, we don't care. We want to educate everybody. Not just the babies. We want to educate everybody in the community. Everybody. So moving on, number three, preventive, preventive health. That means we, we, we touched on that earlier, but preventive health, what we can do for ourselves. So if you have some good information come across uh, uh, on Facebook or different social media, hit the link, send it to somebody. Yeah, let them send it to somebody else. If it's good information, we want to pass in good information. We want to pass good health information to the community. Don't take but a second. Hit your button. Send the link. And say, hey girl, hey guy, you check that information out? What you think? Yes. Number four. Collective economics. Or cooperative economics. It could be collective or cooperative. Basically, basically the same thing to a certain degree. But we need, we have too many African American businesses who only have one employee. Stop that. Buy into partnerships. And you can do everything when it comes to a partnership. You can produce the paperwork, get it legal, legalized, and we can ha you can have a partnership where everybody knows what they're supposed to get in return. That's right. What you invest in, right, you get that return. Co cooperative economics, with three or four people working together. That's called the mastermind principle, created by Napoleon Hill. The mastermind principle, where more two or three people working together, putting their resources, their intellectual capital, together to create a business. Stop thinking small. Stop using that word small business. No, you're a business. Be a business. Think like think like a big company. That's how you grow up. That's how you come up. Think big. Not small. Think big. Work with people who has a proven track record for, of success. Regardless of how small or large, it doesn't make a difference. Because what you're seeking is understanding of business one on one. Once you get a, the foundation set in, once you get your foundation, no matter what you're doing in life, listen to me, people. If you got a foundation, you can build from there. Right. You need your foundation. So, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you got your foundation. Right? You got your foundation. 
If you got a foundation, you have a automatically 50% chance. Now, if you make a few more changes, you got 60% chance of success. More knowledge you have is increase your chances of being successful of your group. So, yeah, as a group, think about group economics, working together as a group in the African American community. When I was coming up, I started working at the age of 13. An opportunity came available where somebody needed to take uh, people grocery. I mean, push, you know, I was 13, I was one driver, but uh, push people uh, uh, from daylight on Broad Street to the project, the, the project, the Blodgett home, the Blodgett home, that's the name of the Blodgett home, not the project. Uh, we're taking grocers and making good money too, that was a lot of money too, because I would get, you know, I get a quarter. Uh, uh, some people give me 50 cents. Now, that was a lot of money. Yes, that was a lot of money. Today, that would be, shoot, man. If we were talking $10, $15, yeah, they run somebody at groceries over to their house. Well, I was pushing them, though. You know, I was, yeah, yeah, you can hear me coming down the road. I was moving so darn fast. I, I was making, I'm making more than my sisters and brothers who worked at day, daylight. They, they probably get 75 cent to 90 cent on the dollar. Yeah. I, on Saturday, Saturday, I make anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars. That was a heap of money. Yes, at the age of 13. But that's the reason why I'm saying all that because often in the community, uh, we don't let our kids go in there because if they go in there because there's a lot of good people. There's a lot of good people in Jacksonville. There's a lot of good people in the African American community. Now listen to me. I don't tell me what community you live in. It doesn't make a difference. There are good people in those communities. And and if you're a kid, a respectful kid, and got some hustle, you can start make you some money in the community. Doing a little different thing, hand the jobs in the community. I'm just using that because often we are not talking to our kids about this. Now we'll be doing uh, talking about this a lot this year with uh, Kids Hope Alliance. I will be talking to them about that in, in the African American community uh, throughout the state of Florida of uh, what they can do. You don't have to wait till you 18, 19. Man, no, you can do it in time. You can make you a little hustle. That's right. Uh, uh, to, to buy your little stuff and, and put some of the money away. If you if you're living with your parents, uh, uh, if you're living with parents, you need to be putting half of that away. Yeah, cause a good mother, good father, they ain't gonna be asking for nothing. Yeah, but you want to show them responsibility to being able to save your money, and they'll hold it for you. I know for a fact. Uh, cause my mother used to hold my money and had every penny and made sure that I could uh, buy the clothes that I wanted for myself. Yes. So I'm saying all this to my people. This is 2022. We going in here with our eyes wide open. We're going to stand up. We're going to walk into the room and get our equity. Now, hear me out. Let me say it again. We're going to stand up. We're going to walk into the room. And we're going to demand our equity. Our taxpaying dollars. We're going to demand from these African American organizations. To put up a shut up. That's right. And we're going to talk to our kids. And get them to understand. They have the opportunity. In this world. And I've been to many countries in my lifetime. Africans can do anything. Tell the truth, we can do it better. Once we believe in ourselves. Once we believe in ourselves. Right? Once we believe in ourselves. And hang out with people with a proven track records. Because I'm talking, everything I'm telling you right now, I'm talking from life experience. 
as an African American in this country, there are still roadblocks. But you can go around them. See, when I was coming up, well, my parents were coming up. See, they had to step off the sidewalk when the Caucasian walked by. But today, no. 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 Now is a good time for us to make our way. Understand what I'm saying, people? It's time for us to make our way right here in Jacksonville, Florida. There have been opportunities. Don't go by everything you're reading. Because a lot of it is a trick. And I'm telling you what I know. It's, it's a trick. So what I need from my community, on this date, the first day of January, 2022, 20, to believe that you have the power. I want you to believe that you got an organization behind you. The African American Economic Recovery Think Tank is here for you. Now all you have to do is get up, stand up, do your homework, make sure you got your knowledge when, before you go in the room. You have your knowledge. Check your knowledge to make sure it's checked. It's correct. Sorry about that. Make sure it's correct. Right? Be at the, the meeting 15 minutes before time so you can check, make sure you got everything you need and go in there and then demand what you need. That's right. Nobody, nobody in this in this country has paid a greater price than the African American community. Nobody can tell us what's right. That's right. Nobody can tell us what's right. The problem that African Americans are having is the leadership. It's need to move out of the way. I'm talking about the, our old leadership. They are the problem. Because we have too many African Americans out there. Too many African Americans in leadership only concerned about themselves. But we are not going to deal with that. All we saying to you is get out of the way. We are moving forward here. We're going to help our kids. Help our seniors. Help our community. And enjoy life. A high quality of life. And high quality of life doesn't mean that you got to have a lot of material possession. That doesn't mean that. Get away from that crap. We're not. A good quality of life has nothing to do with material, materialistic possessions. Now, it's good to have them. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with living good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. As long as you earn it the right way. But that's another conversation. Right now, before I go, I want to let my people know I love you. I love my people. That's right. I love my family. That's right. I love humanity too. But when my people come first. The African American people around the world and our African brothers and sisters around the world I love them. And on this day here, as we begin to step into 2022, 20, we are ready. Thank you. Stanley Scott with the African American Economic Recovery Think Tank. Love you.